September 20, 2017. Corinna Slusser. 19-year-old female Corinna Slusser was last seen on September 20th, 2017 in Queens, New York. A small town girl from Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania, Corinna had dreams of the big city and an even bigger future. Unfortunately, the bright lights of Gotham can turn dark and people and promises aren't always what they seem. A cautionary tale from hell, it took only a few months for this restless teenager to go from chasing her dreams to living a nightmare. For small town cheerleader and aspiring makeup artist Corinna Slusser, the end of senior year couldn't come fast enough. Earlier in 2017, Corinna had attempted suicide and was severely depressed. But after recovering, she began to bury her pain with a new interest, partying. As tensions grew with her mother at home and fed up with school, the teen was desperate for an exit. In a stunning move, Karina dropped out of high school one class shy of graduation and moved in with friends in a neighboring town. That July, Karina met 32-year-old Yvonne Paguero, who enticed her with an offer to live in New York City rent-free. Eager for the fresh start, Karina left for New York with only the clothes on her back, a cell phone, and IDs. Initially surprised by her sudden departure, Karina's mother and friends reported she seemed fine during regular phone calls, and her social media posts showed off her new apartment. But life in the big city wasn't what she bargained for, and it soon became obvious that Yovani wasn't a friend. He was a violent pimp. On August 25, 2017, while living in a seedy hotel, Karina called 911 to report Paguero had stolen money from her and choked her when she demanded it back. The incident led to an order of protection for Karina, with a copy being mailed to her mother's address, prompting a call to her daughter, who downplayed the incident saying everything was fine. A few weeks later in September, Karina's grandfather passed away. Originally planning to attend the funeral in Florida, Karina canceled last minute, claiming her IDs had been stolen and she was unable to fly. But she promised her mother she would be in Pennsylvania when she returned. It was during the period of the funeral and the following week that Karina's mother, still in Florida, lost contact with her daughter. Even worse, she returned home to an empty house. With no way to contact her daughter and no idea of her whereabouts, Karina was reported missing. A few days later, police confirmed an anonymous tip that Karina was seen leaving a Queens hotel known for prostitution and drugs early in the morning of September 20th, 2017. That was the last time anyone would see or hear from Karina Slusser. A fan of social media, over her time in New York, Karina's posts became increasingly sexual, with her appearing thinner and often in skimpy clothing. The last post on Karina's Instagram has left many people confused. Dated September 10th, it's unclear if the photo is of Karina, another girl, or even a man. There's also been speculation that the photo was taken in South America. Many believe Karina did not make this post. The trail to find Karina ran cold for over a year until November 2018, when NYPD arrested 23-year-old Ishiwoni for sex trafficking and exploitation of young women throughout the New York region. In his trial, it was revealed Woni prostituted Karina until just before his arrest, along with other young women, including a minor and a disabled woman with a third grade IQ. He even used Karina in online ads. A year later, in November 2019, Woni was found guilty and sentenced to 15 years in prison. In a heartbreaking end to the trial, Karina's mother asked the convicted pimp to his face what happened to her daughter. Shocking the court, Woni gave her a reply. He said he never passed her off to anybody and that he had no idea if she was dead or alive, but hoped she was alive. Karina first met Woni after the 911 call against Paguero in August 2017. She moved to a seedy hotel in the Bronx with Woni and several other women who worked for him. This arrangement is what likely prevented her from going to her grandfather's funeral that September. Investigators found over 800 text messages between Karina and Ishii over a 10-day period between September 10th and 20th, 2017. Eventually, jealousy led to an altercation between Karina and other women staying with Ishii, so she left alone for a hotel in Rigo Park, Queens, the same hotel she was last seen at on September 20th, less than three months after she had first come to New York. Investigators believe Corinna is still alive and continues to be under the control of human traffickers. If she is still on the East Coast, she may be working a known business corridor along the I-95 highway from Maine to Florida, 
with stops at brothels, hotels, and casinos. She could also be appearing in ads for escort services along that route. In reality though, she could be anywhere, including overseas, with some speculating she may have been smuggled out in a shipping container. So what happened to Corinna Slusser? Was she harmed in retribution for calling 911? Or has she been lost in the shuffle of human trafficking, sold and resold, passed from pimp to pimp? Or is Corinna living her life somewhere and simply choosing not to contact her family? Corinna has a very distinctive flower tattoo on her sternum, as seen in this provocative photo from her social media. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Corinna Slusser, call NYPD's Crime Stoppers Hotline, the FBI, or leave an anonymous tip online at tips.fbi.gov. <laughs> <laughs>